So maybe you've heard of the fire triangle. There's three main ingredients needed for combustion. That's heat, oxygen, and fuel. And if you're a firefighter, your goal is to remove at least one of the elements of this triangle and you can put the fire out. But there's a second kind of triangle and that is the fire behavior triangle. That's consisting of fuels, topography, and weather. Now, of course, fuels is vegetation. So we're talking about the moisture content of that vegetation, the spacing and the arrangement of it. Uh, those are all key factors in fuels. And of course, if it's drier fuel, you're gonna have more intense wildfire. The second point is topography. The shape of the land is very important in modulating fire behavior. A flat forested surface and uh, a steep forested hillside you're, if you have a fire in both, both of those environments, fire is going to behave completely differently. And in a very steep slope environment, you're going to see that fire spreading a lot more quickly up the slope, especially if there's some wind with it, because you're preheating the fuel ahead of it a lot more efficiently as the fire is burning up the slope. And finally, weather is the third critical point. Anytime, as we've always seen in the past, as, as temperatures increase, it gets windier and it gets drier fire activity really ramps up alongside with that so if you combine all three of these you know you have really dry dense fuels you have a steep slope and hot dry windy weather you're going to have yourself some intense wildfire behavior the fire behavior triangle fuels topography and weather